Another loss was added to the column this weekend after Idaho was overran by the Georgia Southern Eagles, 47-24. to yeah. No, it was close. You know, we had it to one touchdown, and um, that's when we had the pick, the tip ball for a pick. Um, there was a couple different times we had different, you know, situations to, uh, you know, it was a way closer game than that, but that's how it ended up, so that's what you live with. Georgia Southern is ranked number one in the Sun Belt, and they proved their skill all the way to the end with a touchdown, still with only 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter against the Vandals. Although Idaho put up a total of 365 yards, with Lenahan connecting the offensive passing 19 of 31, Coach Paul Petrino was still not pleased with the effort of his offense. And then a couple times the offense, same same story, got down there in the first half and didn't get touchdowns. You know, that, you can't do that, especially when you're playing a team that sets that's that good on offense. You know, there was times I thought we looked really good on offense and looked like we are wearing them out. Then in a couple of the crucial situations, that's when we have to make plays, protect, all 11 guys do their job, and we're just, you know, you got to get them at the right time. It's crucial times, so and we still got to get there, and we're still working to get there. After running back Aaron Duckworth was injured during the battle against the Eagles, Elijah Penny stepped up his game, putting up three touchdowns for the black and gold, but in the end, it was not enough to put the Vandals on the top of the game. The Idaho Vandals face the Aggies traveling up from New Mexico State this week, who are 2-5 and five this season, for the homecoming weekend for Idaho, with the high hopes of getting a big win for the big crowd. For the Sun Belt on campus, this is Danny Jewell, University of Idaho.